Hi, I'm AJ and thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you're really going to like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. In my last video, I talked about Visible Wireless and it's an MVNO, a mobile virtual network operator that uses the Verizon network. And I mentioned that there's another MVNO of Verizon where you can actually potentially get a better deal with certain stipulations. And as you can see from the title, with this service, I was actually able to spend less than $3 a month for my cell phone bill. Yes, less than $3, 3.00. That's three George Washingtons. And that service is Xfinity Mobile. I'll first talk about what plans they actually have available. They have an unlimited plan. You can also pay by the gig and you can also pay for just unlimited text and unlimited calls. And now there is a catch for those who do not already have Xfinity service and Xfinity is the residential and business internet arm of Comcast. And if you don't already have Xfinity service where you're paying for home internet, cable, or a home phone, then there are options for you and I'll speak about those later in the video. But for those who are already Xfinity customers, this Xfinity mobile option is for you and I'll go into details about what plans they have available and how it is cheaper for Xfinity customers versus non-Xfinity customers. Now the plans that Xfinity has available, first off is their unlimited plan. They have a plan with unlimited data, unlimited text, and unlimited calls, and it is for $45 a month. Now, unlike Visible Wireless, which I reviewed in my previous video, there are taxes and fees on top of that $45. So it's $45 plus taxes and fees. Maybe it'll bring you up to around 50 or $55. And so it's not the $3 plan that I'm talking about right now, but I'll get into that later. Now, the next option is actually a shared data plan. So this is for if you have one person, it would only be for you. If you wanna have more than one person on your account, this is the amount that you would pay to share data for everyone that's on this account. With the shared data plan, you can pay $12 for one gig, you can pay $30 for three gigabytes, or you can pay $60 for 10 gigabytes of shared data. So whether you have one person or five people on the account, that price is still the same. It's either $12 for one gig, $30 for three gigs, or $60 for 10 gigabytes. Now with the unlimited as well as the shared data plans, once you go over 20 gigabytes of data, per line, then your speeds are reduced. As well as because this is an MVNO, you are deprioritized compared to the direct Verizon customers. And so if there is network congestion, then you may notice slower speeds, even if you haven't reached that 20 gigabyte data mark. Now also unlike Visible Wireless, which I reviewed in my previous video, I did not actually get to test the data speeds for this account. And there's a reason for that. The reason that I didn't test the data speeds is because I wanted to test how I would be able to get the lowest possible bill and how much it would actually be if I decided to not use data at all. So if you're on that $12 one gigabyte plan or you're on the shared data plan, if you don't use any mobile data, then you're not charged that $12. So at the moment that you actually use mobile data on your phone, that's when you're charged to $12 and you can go up to one gig without being charged again. Once you go over that one gigabyte, then you're charged another $12 to get another gigabyte of data. So I wanted to test, you know, if I don't use any mobile data at all, and I only connect to Wi-Fi when I'm at home, Wi-Fi hotspots when I'm out and about, if I'm at a restaurant or I'm at a store that has free Wi-Fi, there are many places where you can access Wi-Fi for free whenever you're away from your home, as well as with Xfinity, anyone that has Xfinity internet at their home, you can actually technically connect to their network. So there will be a second network that broadcasts from the router that you have with Xfinity that will show just Xfinity. With this network, of course, it's not the same speeds that you would have as your home Wi-Fi, but it is an option that you can use by signing into your Xfinity account and you can connect to these mobile hotspots, which are all over the place. So how did my bill actually get under $3? What I did was for the past three months, I turned off the mobile data option on my phone. So if you have an iPhone or an Android phone, you can go into your settings and you can actually completely shut off mobile data. So that way no applications on your phone, whether it's a streaming app or your email or anything on your phone that uses internet. As long as you shut off the option for mobile data, nothing will connect to the internet unless you're connected to Wi-Fi. And so I did this for three months using my Xfinity Mobile, using the iPhone that I had connected to Xfinity Mobile, I only used it for calls and texts 
to see if one, if I could go, you know, that long without using the internet on that specific phone, unless I was connected to Wi-Fi. So I was still able to use internet on my phone. I just didn't use that mobile data. And I actually didn't have a problem doing it. There were many places that I could use Wi-Fi. And when I didn't have a place that I could use Wi-Fi, then I would just do something else on my phone or I would do something away from my phone, of course. You can always do that. You know, I would do something that didn't require me to use the internet until I was able to access Wi-Fi and then I could use the internet with all of the applications, check my email, things of that nature that I would normally do with my cell phone. Now, for most of us, we may be in a habit that wherever we go, as long as there is cell phone service, we want to use our phone and we want to use every app available on our phone. But if you can just hold off on using your mobile data and only use Wi-Fi, you can actually have a cell phone bill that's less than $3. And because there's Wi-Fi pretty much everywhere, it's not even that big of a hassle to not use your mobile data. Now, another thing that enticed me to test out this Xfinity mobile experience was that at the time that I signed up, there was a $100 gift card once you transfer a number over to Xfinity mobile. So I had it for about three months maybe four months into having the service is about the time that I actually received my gift card. But I see that I checked their website most recently and they don't have that option anymore, but they do have an option for a $250 gift card if you were to buy a brand new iPhone through Xfinity Mobile. And so what I could see from their site, they had the iPhone 7 was the oldest iPhone that you could get. And I think it was around four or $500. And then you have to keep that phone service in good standing with Xfinity for at least 90 days. And then after that time period, then you would receive that $250 gift card. And I'm assuming you would have to have good standing with your Xfinity service, you know, your internet, your home internet, and your cable or your phone service, whichever of the three that you have, you only have to have one of them. And that is what makes you eligible to get that price for the Xfinity mobile phone service. Now, this is where I'll get into if you don't have Xfinity Comcast and you still wanna try out Xfinity Mobile, the price is actually a little bit higher for you. So instead of being able to get phone service for under $3, there's a minimum of a $20 charge per line if you don't already have some other Xfinity service like internet or cable or home phone. And so it would be $20 plus taxes and fees. If you were to not use your mobile data, that's all that you would be charged for that month. And if you pay by the gig, the price per gig is still the same. It's $12 for one gig, $30 for three gigs, and $60 for 10 gigabytes. Now with unlimited, of course, it's that extra $45. So it would be a total of $65 per month in order to have that unlimited plan. And at that point, you're about the same price as Verizon service. So if you go direct through Verizon, it's $70 per month plus taxes and fees for just one line of unlimited data, unlimited text, and unlimited calls. So if you're a person that needs that unlimited data and you wanna use mobile data, you want, don't want to rely on just Wi-Fi hotspots, then maybe if you're not an Xfinity customer, this may not be an option for you. But if you're a person that doesn't use a lot of data or if you don't need to use data at all, this could be a really affordable service for you. So this is how I was able to get my phone service for under $3 for the past three months. And as you can see here, I paid $2.49 the first month, $2.48 the second month, and then $2.69 the third month. From what I can see, the, the taxes and fees actually went up for whatever reason, but even still, it's still under $3. And I was able to use my phone with Wi-Fi hotspots, so I didn't necessarily need that mobile data. I just had to change a few behaviors of constantly streaming music. You know, instead of streaming, maybe I download it to my phone while I have access to Wi-Fi, and then I can listen to it once I don't have access to Wi-Fi hotspots. And if you're in a family and maybe you have maybe a parent or a grandparent that doesn't even use the internet or may not need it, this is great for them because you can add them onto your line and you're paying less than $3 for their phone service. And all they're gonna do is call and probably won't even text depending on the person. But if someone just needs to make calls, then this is a great service, especially if you already have Xfinity, home internet or home phone or cable TV. Under $3, you could have unlimited calls. It's a great plan. So if this sounds like an option for you, if it's something that you could survive on as an Xfinity Comcast customer, leave a message in the comments. Let me know what you think about this service. If you have another service that you think is better or very similar in price, talk about that in the comments as well. And also, if you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you really like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I make a video. Thanks for watching and being a part of the Mobile Money Nation. You guys have a great day.